Oh, look who decided to crawl out of their hole after 15 freaking years. Lucas, sweetheart, welcome back from prison. Jeez, your mommy has missed you like crazy. It's awesome to have you back. Hey, mom. It's been forever since I left. I just got back home and went to my room, but where are all my things? Oh, I forgot to tell you, Lucas. I totally did you a solid and sold off all the valuable stuff. The useless junk got thrown in the trash. Thought it'd be for the best, you know? What? Why did you toss my stuff away? I clearly told you to pack them up and store them in the basement for me. Hey, come on now, Lucas. No need to be all dramatic about it. Our place isn't exactly a mansion, you know. Keeping all your stuff in the basement for a whopping 15 years would have been a real challenge. Of course I have to wipe out some trash and make room for my stuff. Honestly, I wasn't even sure if you'd make it out of prison alive or not. I mean, I kind of thought you were a goner or something. But yeah, here you are, alive and kicking. <laughs> Funny how things work out, huh? Hold up. What happened to the pocket watch Dad gave me before he passed away? What did you do with it? Hmm, let me think. Oh, you mean that old busted pocket watch you had stashed away in the drawer, right? The one in that black box? Well, I tried to sell it, but it was pretty much worthless, so I chucked it right into the dumpster. No need to thank me or anything. You're welcome. Wait, what? Why would you do that? I even put a label on the box saying, don't touch. You know how much that watch means to me. Dad made it clear that I should keep it safe. It's one of the few things that keeps Dad's memory alive for me. I treasure that watch more than anything else. Honestly, I couldn't care less. Your new room is tiny and cramped. So where were you planning to squeeze in all your precious junk anyway? Oh, and by the way, how do you like your new room? It's a little gift I put together just for you. I'm sure you'll be thrilled once you see it. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What do you mean by my new room? I don't see any new room here. And why can't I just stay in my old room? Oh, you can't see it? Well, it's right under the staircase, genius. So what do you think of it? Yeah, I know, it used to be Pixie's little den, but that stupid dog is dead now, so now you own the place. Are you seriously suggesting that I should consider Pixie's old spot as my room? Are you being serious right now, Mom? Oh, so you're still clueless, huh? Well, good news for you. Your beloved brother Martin has already gotten married and popped out a kid. They've taken over the room that used to be yours, in case you were wondering. Let's just admit it. You're not too far off from being a pathetic, whimpering dog yourself, are you? Pathetic. Why are you using such hurtful words? And wait a second, Martin got married? How come nobody bothered to inform me about this? It's been 15 goddamn years, you know. Things have changed a lot around here. Things have changed a hell of a lot around here, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, that's right. You were too busy enjoying the cozy confines of your jail cell, weren't you? No wonder you missed out on all the important happenings in our house. But don't worry, sweetheart. I'll make sure to spoon feed you all the juicy details bit by bit. All right, I got it. Now you've finally graced us with your oh-so-valuable presence, why don't you put yourself to good use for once? It's about time you start pulling your weight around here, instead of being a lazy sloth, don't you think? Okay, so... do you need me to do anything for you? Wow, you're really as dumb as you look, aren't you? After rotting away in prison for over a decade, you still have the audacity to ask me that question? While you were busy lounging around in your cozy cell, the rest of us were actually working our asses off to support this family. You didn't contribute a single damn dime towards our well-being during all those years. And now you have the nerve to waltz back into this house and expect to be treated like royalty? Well, here's a reality check for you, you useless sack of garbage. It's time for you to start pulling your weight and actually help out around the house. Why are you saying such hurtful things? It's like you think I actually enjoyed being in prison. Trust me, it was the last thing I wanted. I didn't ask for it, but I had no other choice, all right? Can you even imagine how much I suffered during all those years behind bars? It was a nightmare, and I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. Oh, please. Spare me your sob story about suffering. It's laughable, really. You had three square meals a day, a roof over your head, and didn't have to lift a damn finger to do anything. Meanwhile, your brother had to bust his ass day in and day out just to make ends meet. He was working like a slave to support this family, a job that should have been your responsibility as the eldest son. But no, you were too busy enjoying the lazy, carefree lifestyle in prison, weren't you? Living like a goddamn king while the rest of us struggled. Incomprehensible. I didn't choose to go to prison, okay? 
Why are you talking about it as if it's some kind of relaxing vacation? Do you have any idea how hard I fought to maintain my sanity during those years? I was stripped of my freedom, confined within the same four walls for a grueling 15 years. I endured assaults from fellow inmates, constant abuse and threats. Let me ask you, does that sound like a life anyone would willingly go through? If prison is so amazing as you seem to think, why don't you go ahead and take my place? Oh please, are you really suggesting that your precious mother, the epitome of kindness, innocence, and love, should set foot in that filthy hellhole called prison? Have you completely lost your marbles? Listen up, you should consider yourself lucky that I even allow you to stay in my house, alright? You think I enjoy having a criminal like you around? You're nothing but the lowest scum on this earth. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I am not a criminal, and I swear on my name that I didn't do anything wrong. I was wrongly imprisoned simply because I happened to be in the vicinity of the crime scene. It was a case of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. No matter what crap you try to spew, it won't change the fact that you're nothing but a filthy criminal, a heartless murderer who killed an innocent 27-year-old girl. Ugh, I'm so disgusted by you, Lucas. Do you even have a clue how embarrassed I was when I first heard about your sorry ass ending up in prison? I had to haul my stuff and move to a new place just to escape the constant taunting and gossip from the nosy neighbors. And let me tell you, 15 years is a damn joke for the magnitude of crime you committed. You should have been slapped with a life sentence or even faced the death penalty, you lowlife. I am not a murderer. Can you please stop spouting those accusations? I was wrongly jailed for the crime I had no involvement in and absolutely no knowledge of. You're my mother. You should know me better than anyone else. You know I'm not the kind of person who would ever commit such a horrendous act, right? But I suppose you and the rest of our family were just having a blast while I was away, huh? Seriously? What's your deal? I just told you. Your little prison escapade is like a huge-ass stain on our family's name. You went and completely trashed our reputation, man. Way to go! Oh, and you know what? I've had it up to here with your crap. I'm taking your sorry ass to court, and you better be ready to face the consequences of your actions. What now, Mom? Why are you taking me to court? I haven't done anything. Oh, what else is new? You've managed to tarnish this precious family's image, causing endless emotional distress to all of us. And let's not forget the embarrassment you've heaped upon us. Why didn't I think of this brilliant idea earlier? I should totally demand a fat stack of cash from you as compensation for all the damage you've done. <laughs> Ironically, it's actually me who gets to say this. Just imagine what you've been up to while I was locked away in prison. You had the audacity to grab my credit card and go on a reckless spending spree, wiping out all of my hard-earned money. And as if that wasn't enough, you had the nerve to sell off and toss away my belongings too. Should I be demanding compensation for all of that? We're talking about plain old theft here. Whoa, check out the tough guy over here. Imagine these words spewing out of the filthy mouth of a bloodthirsty maniac. If you've got the guts, go ahead and take me to court. Try to sue me for using your precious money. Let's see if they believe the word of an upstanding citizen like me, or a criminal fresh out of the slammer like you. <laughs> the irony is just too rich. You're practically useless now, so know your place. If you behave, I might consider keeping you around as my personal slave. I thought you were genuinely happy to have me back in our home. But it seems like you only want to exploit me, huh? Oh, you're catching on fast. Did you really think you could just chill out and laze around like you used to? Fat chance, man. Now get off that lazy butt of yours and start taking care of the housework. Clean up, do the dishes, whip up some meals. It's all on you now, pal. And don't even think for a second that doing chores means you can slack off on your responsibilities as my son. Oh, no, no, no. So hurry up and find yourself a job too, Mr. Eternal Freeloader. Time to set up your game and contribute like a responsible adult. Wow, talk about a complete 180 turnaround, huh? It seems like someone conveniently forgot how much they love treating my money as their own. Listen up, I don't give a damn about what you do, but you better start bringing in some cash every single day without slacking off. If you don't, I'll kick your sorry butt right back to the prison where you truly belong, got it? Now no time to waste. Get up and start doing the housework, all right? You're my little slave now, so get moving. Lucas! 
So I heard from mom that you finally made it back home after a whopping 15 years behind bars, huh? I can't wrap my head around the fact that they let a monster like you loose in this peaceful society. You're like a walking danger to everyone around you. Seriously, just go back to prison, you savage murderer. It's pretty clear that nobody wants you hanging around here. Well, that's harsh. Duh. What did you expect? A grand welcome from our family like you're some kind of returning king claiming his throne? That's just plain ridiculous. Just the sight of your face makes me want to puke. You're like a freaking virus, a contagious mess that messes up society. It's losers like you who make the world a downright dangerous place to live in. Hey, I'm not sure if mom filled you in on the details, but let me set the record straight. I didn't do anything wrong, alright? I was wrongly locked up and have already been officially declared innocent. Wow, that's quite the hilarious story you've got there. So let me get this straight. Every ex-con out there would just say, Oh, I'm innocent. I was falsely imprisoned, but now I'm free. Yeah, like anyone with half a brain would buy into that load of nonsense. Just face the facts already. You're a bloodthirsty killer and a lazy freeloader. You don't even have a job to support yourself financially. That's why you came crawling back to this house, right? To leech off of mine and mom's hard-earned money? Well, guess what? You're not welcome here, you parasite! So pack up and get the hell out! Go away! Shoo! Well, I hate to jog your memory, but let me remind you of something. It was this so-called parasite who forked out the cash for your college tuition. Yep, that's right. Oh, and let's not forget that it was also this parasite who splurged on that fancy car for you on your 16th birthday. Remember that? I can still hear your words crystal clear, something along the lines of, Lucas, you're no doubt the best brother ever. I've always loved and looked up to you. So what happened to all those compliments, huh? Just a little something to think about, my dear brother. Yeah, and? You used to be some big shot president of a fancy company making millions of dollars a year. But now, look at you, just a pathetic criminal, a savage manslayer who deserves to rot in the depths of hell. And let's not forget, it's been a solid 15 years. That car you got me is nothing but a heap of junk now. You really think I owe you something for that? Stop living in your delusional bubble, you piece of trash. All right, fine. Look, I genuinely don't know what I did to deserve all this hate from you. It's got me feeling pretty confused and hurt, to be honest. Do you even realize that I'm now married and have a child? I can't just let a deadly psychopath like you come in and mess up my happy family life. Oh, and guess who my lovely wife is? I bet you'll be shocked when I tell you her name. Well, I have this gut feeling that it's not going to be pleasant but spill it anyway. At this stage, it seems like I've got nothing else to left to lose anymore. Hold on tight, because my wife is none other than Sylvia. <laughs> now, Lucas, I gotta ask you, does that name ring any bells for you? What? Sylvia? Don't tell me. That's right! Your ex-fiance, Sylvia, is now my beautiful wife. Feeling a tad bitter there, Lucas? <laughs> I'm practically drooling with excitement, picturing the priceless look of shock on your pathetic face when you see just how insanely happy we are together. Now, pay close attention, loser. Don't you dare even dream about coming anywhere near your nephew. He's destined for greatness, and I won't let him be tainted by the likes of a criminal like you. So, Sylvia is your wife now, huh? Well, that's just fantastic. What can I say? I'm genuinely happy for you. Yeah, you nailed it. Bravo, Lucas. You're just a pathetic failure through and through. Why don't you do us all a favor and rot away in that prison? Coming back home and being a burden to everyone around you is just too much to bear. Can't you see? Nobody wants you here. So get your sorry ass out of my house pronto, or I swear, I'll dial up the cops on you. And trust me, I'm dead serious. I'll tell them that you broke into my place and threatened to steal my hard-earned cash. I guarantee you'll be back in your cozy little home called prison in no time. Haha, <laughs> what a joke. You know what? 
I never had any plans to stick around in the same house as you and the rest of our family once I got out of prison. I figured I'd swing by to grab my stuff, but it looks like Mom already sold everything. So, no need to push me out the door, I'm already on my way out. That's the spirit! Well, well, well. Would you just look at that, Lucas? The mighty president of a big shot company has now become a pitiful loser who gets rejected wherever he turns and even had his wife stolen by his own little brother. Pathetic. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this day, Lucas. I must admit, I used to be green with envy over you. I despised your arrogant attitude, always bossing other people around and making them do your dirty work. What on earth are you talking about? I never acted cocky towards anyone and that includes you. I've always loved you and looked out for you as my younger sibling. It's your own jealousy that clouded your judgment and made you see things that weren't there. Oh, you know what? I used to think I'd never come close to your level, but boy has that changed now. Guess what? I'm working for this top tier company, raking in a sweet income. And hey, I even managed to snatch your ex fiance as my wife. Haha, <laughs> how's that for a twist? Ever heard of Luminary Tech Solutions? Well, I'm strutting my stuff there as the vice director. Can you believe it? Life just keeps getting better and better for me. Luminary Tech Solutions? Really? That name does sound familiar. Oh, naturally, it sounds familiar. Luminary Tech Solutions is one of the top dogs in the market right now, unlike you. I can just imagine how badly you're itching to be in my position, huh? But hey, look at you now. You're nothing more than a stray dog that nobody wants. <laughs> So do us all a favor, Lucas. Take a one-way trip straight to the nine levels of hell. Nobody in this house needs you anymore. That's just pure karma for you, you loser. Hey, Lucas, you useless moron. Found yourself a cozy spot to crash yet? I hope it's not some dingy street corner or a rat-infested hole. <laughs> you know what? You're just a sorry excuse for a human being, Lucas. Why don't you take a good long look at your little brother and learn a thing or two about how to actually succeed in life, huh? Oh, no need to worry, bro. My secretary already hooked me up with the perfect place. It's a stunning mansion in one of the most desirable neighborhoods in our city. I can assure you I've got everything I need right here and I'm living life to the max. It's actually kind of nice that mom got rid of all my old stuff. Gives me a chance to start fresh and splurge on some brand new things for myself. Ooh, I don't mean to brag, but geez, this place feels like paradise on Earth. What? A gorgeous mansion? Where on Earth did you get the money to afford something like that? I mean, we're talking millions of dollars here, no joke. It's a bit of a tale, Martin, but I hope you've got the patience to hear me out. So... As I mentioned earlier, I was wrongly locked up for 15 years. As a result, the government compensated me with over $100,000. What? $100,000? But that's nowhere near enough to purchase a luxurious mansion like the one you just mentioned. Are you trying to pull a fast one on me, pretending to be all high and mighty to make me green with envy? Oh. And did I forget to mention that I actually regained my position as the president at my company? Yep, that's right. The role was temporarily held by my incredibly loyal secretary, Tim. Now that I'm back from my prison stint, Tim couldn't be happier to hand over the reins to me. In fact, he's been the one steadfastly believing in my integrity all these years, fighting tirelessly to help me seek justice. What? Now you're back as CEO of your company? That's just impossible. Does this mean what you've been telling me is actually true? You're not the murderer of that 27-year-old girl? Yeah, why would I lie to you about something like that? You know me. I'm not the kind of person who goes around telling lies. Alright, genius, then tell me the rest of your falsehood. Who the hell pulled the trigger? Who's the sicko that off that poor girl? I demand the truth, you pathetic excuse for a human. Spill it all, every damn detail, don't you dare hold back. It was a tragic incident where an innocent girl lost her life due to the actions of a drunken man. Unfortunately, I was in the vicinity of the crime scene, 
which led to me being summoned by the police for questioning regarding the case. However, things took a turn for the worse when the CEO of a competitor company saw this as a chance to undermine both me and my company. He resorted to bribery, influencing the police, the prosecutor, and even my defense attorney to betray my trust. Consequently, I was wrongfully convicted based on fabricated evidence provided by a corrupt detective and ultimately sentenced to prison. What on earth are you blabbering about? Are you just pulling some random made-up fantasy story out of thin air? Not at all, Lucas. I hate to break it to you, but Luminary Tech Solutions, the company you're currently employed at, is in serious trouble. Unfortunately, it's going down the drain, and its captain, Jackson, isn't faring any better. Seriously, Lucas? What kind of garbage are you spewing now? Quit living in your little make-believe world already. My company is thriving. There's absolutely zero chance of it going belly up, not even in a million years. Get your head out of the clouds, loser. No, Martin, I'm not lost in a daydream, nor am I spinning any lies. Every single word I've shared with you is the unvarnished truth. Remember that CEO from the rival company who schemed to have me thrown behind bars? Well, believe it or not, that very same person is none other than Jackson, the owner of Luminary Tech Solutions. That's... that's impossible. You're just bluffing, aren't you? Let me tell you, none of your pathetic lies are gonna cut it. Oh, really? So, riddle me this. Have you spotted Jackson around the office lately? Well, he's, uh, just taking a chill break with his family, you know? Yeah, no need to stress. He'll be back in a jiffy, like, in a few days tops. No biggie. Well, Martin, I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty certain he won't be making a return. Jackson is a seasoned entrepreneur, cunning and resourceful. The sly fox caught wind of my early release from prison and sensed trouble brewing. That's when he meticulously orchestrated his escape, ensuring he took all the company's funds with him. Nah, no freaking way. This is unreal. Jackson swore up and down that someday I'd be taking over as the CEO of the company. How the heck did this happen? I'm honestly clueless. There's gotta be some major screw-up going on here. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's no room for misinterpretation here. Luminary Tech Solutions is nothing more than a hollow husk now. Jackson made off with all the cash and is currently attempting to flee to another country. However, take some solace in knowing that the police are hot on his tail. My reliable secretary, Tim, was well aware of Jackson's scheme and promptly reported the crime. It won't be long before you and your boss have a little reunion, Martin. I bet it'll be a heartwarming moment, huh? I'm genuinely looking forward to it. Lucas, seriously? You're just spewing a bunch of nonsense. Stop it, alright? You're just making yourself look pathetic. Since you're my younger brother, there's something that really concerns me about you, Martin. Is there no limit to your insanity? Trash talking my boss isn't cutting it for you, huh? What other wild stuff have you got up your sleeve now? You're claiming that Sylvia is now your lovely wife, huh? I can only imagine the priceless look on her face when she discovers that you're about to kiss that precious vice director gig goodbye and won't be fulfilling your grand promise of becoming a high and mighty CEO. Ha <laughs> ha! I gotta say, witnessing Sylvia's reaction to that news will be pure entertainment. Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, Sylvia's your wife, so you should have her character down pat, right? Don't tell me you're clueless about what she's really made of. If that's the case, brother, I'm afraid things ain't looking too rosy for you. Why don't you cut the crap and spill the beans instead of dancing around the issue? I'm so over these mind games, just say it straight up already. Here's the thing, Martin. Sylvia and I didn't part ways for no good reason. After a whole year of dating, I finally realized her true intentions were all about money. When I found out she was seeing other guys while we were together, I ended things real quick. At first, she was begging to get back with me, but as soon as she heard that I was headed to prison, she made a run for it. I'm not blaming her for bailing, but I sure hope her promiscuous and thieving ways have improved since you two got together. Wait, hold up. 
Are you telling me that Sylvia is some kind of flawed character? Sure, I've noticed she can be a bit reckless when it comes to spending cash. But I always let it slide because she's my wife and, well, she's a treat for the eyes, you know? But cheating on me with other dudes? That's just simply unacceptable. Now that I think about it, my cash does seem to vanish without a good reason sometimes. Look, Martin. I can't say for sure, but maybe you should have a chat with Sylvia and get some clarification. Given her character, I wouldn't even be surprised if she throws a massive tantrum, hurls some hurtful insults your way, or even brings up the dreaded D word, divorce. But hey, that's not my problem, so why should I even bother, right? Goodbye, Martin. This whole mess is on you. Take all the time you need to sort things out on your own, okay? Whoa, hold up, Lucas. Why didn't you spill the beans earlier? Why drop this bomb on me now? You should have given me a heads up about Sylvia before I made the big leap into marriage, man. Don't you remember anything? You didn't even bother to visit me during my time in prison. Plus, you conveniently forgot to mention your relationship with Sylvia. So how was I supposed to know, huh? Oh, and here's another tidbit. I heard that Luminary Tech Solutions has been mixed up in some shady business lately, and the police are onto them. As the vice director of the company, I don't think you can escape the long arm of the law, my brother. What now? Are you really telling me that I'm gonna end up behind bars too? Like, Martin? This is some next level craziness. Way to think on your feet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go stretch out by my fancy pool on this comfy lounge chair and sip on this heavenly pina colada. Damn, today is such a perfect day to just chill and unwind. Ah, it feels so good to have my old life back. I'm gonna make sure to soak up every little moment and enjoy the heck out of it from now on. Your bro's stuck in a jam and all you're thinking about is living it up? What kind of brother move is that, Lucas? Listen, Lucas, I need your help, man. I know you're sitting on a pile of cash right now, being all successful as a CEO and whatnot. So how about lending a hand to your dear little brother and pulling me out of this mess? Oh, and it'd be pretty sweet if you could hook me up with a decent gig at your company too. Just make sure it's nothing lower than a vice director position, all right? Ha ha ha, look at you, Martin, cracking jokes like a pro. Too bad for you those warm and fuzzy brotherly moments are long gone. It's all about payback and regret now. Time for you to come face to face with your own personal demon, Martin. The clock is ticking, brother. Your moment of reckoning is finally here. Jackson was finally apprehended by the police as he attempted to flee the country. Finally, his crime of framing me and orchestrating my wrongful imprisonment came to light along with the involvement of his accomplices who were bribed to falsely convict me. Jackson himself faced interrogation regarding his company's involvement in fraud and money laundering. As the vice director of the company, Martin also found himself implicated and soon found behind bars. Sylvia wasted no time filing for divorce and, within days, was spotted strolling hand in hand with another man, leaving her son behind in pursuit of her newfound happiness. Without hesitation, I took custody of her son and committed myself to raising him as my own. The news of Martin's arrest left my mom in a state of shock, nearly causing her to faint. She reached out to me, seeking forgiveness and financial support, as she had been solely dependent on Martin for financial assistance before his imprisonment. However, I stood my ground firmly and declined her request. She seemed to accept her circumstances and began working multiple part-time jobs to support herself. I consider myself fortunate to have my reliable secretary Tim by my side, supporting me throughout these challenging years. On my first day back at work, the entire staff of the company welcomed me with open arms, throwing a party in my honor. Now I am determined to focus solely on leading my company to success and providing the best possible upbringing for my adopted son, Angelo.